Alrighty then, mic check, mic check. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be another special edition of a Quant Trader's Guide to Algobox. This is going to be huge. We have got to cover so many things. I'm breaking it up into three parts. Maybe two, but I have a feeling it's going to be three with the amount of stuff and material we got to cover. This is going to be the advanced review in part one tonight. It is Thursday night. Friday, we're going to have another one for you guys and potentially one on the weekend to get through all three parts. And we have got a ton to cover. So let's Get right into it right now, shall we? We shall. Roll that tape! Alrighty then, come on down here into our training window. Let's go into some of the stuff we're going to cover here tonight. And of course, again, three parts of this. So come back on Friday and Saturday for the rest. But uh, let's see, tonight, what are we covering? We have got getting your account to 8k how do we do that starting with our 2500 we'll talk about the details on that getting experience fast okay how do we do that dedication in time how much time do you need gaining that 10,000 hours of experience in literally a six month time period what yeah we're gonna talk about that how about uh no cloud reading and this came from one of our members right here we're going to talk about what that specifically means advanced setups and examples and of course at the very end we'll go over how to get a thousand dollars off of algobox gold pro lifetime edition if that's exciting for you hang till the end and if you're you know on the fence of whether or not you want to join with us or not hey take a peek at what we're going to talk about here tonight and you decide so First thing, hopefully you guys checked out that uh, the screenshot there on that pop quiz. Got a lot of things going on here. What all do you see here? A lot to cover in this specific screenshot. So let's start there with that one. Let me check that uh, sound real quick. Make sure that that's at a good level. How about? All right, and we're back. So I uh, pulled up the wrong screenshot from earlier, but uh, here are here are the ones with all the labels on them. So starting on the far left down here, pop quiz. What do you see here? First thing on uh, number one right here we're looking at the gigantic delta starting to come in here this is a flush side to the south so what are we looking for we're looking for a long side move after a down push so we did did we get the down push yeah in fact it started with a nice pink dot I probably should have labeled this one actually I just noticed um man extra bonus points if you saw this as number one my mouse is so jittery i'm gonna put it down there there we go so uh number one right there is the pink dot as a power dot drop in but then we got this delta right here so what am i looking for this is a ready up delta so get ready what's this there's my double dot now is this just a regular double dot or is that something special that is something special that is a power double dot with half powered right that is a blue on the left that is the most powerful dot plus the green so we got the double dot move to the upside boom so that powers it up we get that move up now you might say oh well i see a double cross right there well what is a double cross out in the open if you were going to take a double cross sure we're looking to the upside but look on the leg like this is this really a double cross double move are you gonna make double this move i mean you could okay it's just a very small one right there so don't try to read too much into this we'll come into that thing that i talked about in one of our lists tonight on the clouds don't look at the clouds we'll talk about what that specifically means and again trying to read too much into things okay don't Look at a cloud and go, hey, look, I see a dinosaur, right? You're like, it's just a cloud, okay? So be careful about trying to read into things too much, right? So there's our double dot move up, big, big play off of the first one right there. Now, the next one I wanted to point out is up here at number three. What do we have going on in this? This is a harmonic all by itself. Now, is there a play in there? You might think, oh, well, it's just a harmonic, but you trade nothing alone, so I can't really take that. Ah, but not really. Look down here. What time is this? First of all, this is king timing. I'm not talking about time of day. This is king timing. That is a pink line right there coming into this area. Do I have delta? Yeah, not really. Um, there is there's a little bit of one right here, but it's not near as big as this one. So normally, if I'm going to look for a reversal, I'm looking for something about this big. Okay, so I wouldn't say that we've got delta, but you do have a king right here. And if you want to read into that delta and maybe give it a little shot down. I'm not going to fault you for that on that short side move. But if you are going to take that one, you got to take it with something else. So if you really want to take that trade, what else do you have to have? You got to have something. So that is a King Delta right there or Delta King. Exit probably going to be on this white cross. We're not really going to be able to hold it all the way down to this spot. We're either exiting there or right here. So really this play is entering in from there to there. Here is the profit zone on that. And of course the stop on this because it is a delta king it's going to be up above so here is your risk and that is about a three 
our trade right there. Very, very nice play on the short side. Number four there, we do have the blue dot, but because we are already into a position here, we're not going to engage to take that to the long side. We do not have a red delta with it, right? You notice there is literally no delta. In fact, it is a green side delta right there. You guys see that? Why you can skip that and get in the long side? Not going to look at it. Plus, what's our timing? This is on medium timing, so nothing going in on that one at all on that blue dot. But I wanted to point that out right here. Okay, If you got that, understood that, fantastic. If you have questions around that, come ask them in the chat room, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Now, we've got number six down here. Big, big push down. You might think, oh, this is double cross, double move. right? So you're like, oh, I've got, uh, got a big lug down into it. I got the crosses, so now I'm looking for the double move out of this, right? Wrong. Er what's right in there can you see it that is a dot so go into the advanced rules on the double cross double move it has to be out in the open with nothing else around it is there something here with it yes there is green dot shows up so if you do get in on accident or i don't know an accident like this is you get in immediately if you were to go bam i am punching short right there on that dot okay boom the green dot shows up listen you punch the reverse button right you should know that Okay, we are going back the other way with that play. Okay, so got that one and look at this huge, huge move. Then what's number seven? It gets powered up with it on top of that should have already kind of clued you in that, hey, I am not going to be trying to initiate some additional downside move as this double, uh, double delta is coming in right here. Plus that green dot that is going to power that sucker up and look at her go, right? So number seven, what's that right there? That is a, another power double dot there amazing it's not double power but it is a power dot okay double double power would be what if it had two blue dots okay two blues um then what do we have on the final there are our red dot exits for that one you know worst case scenario you're exiting right here is this one comes up in this area is there anything telling you that you could hold any higher than this um not really right i'm probably bailing right there on that one as that red dot shows up i see the delta right there probably not going to get the extra ticks out of it but it looks really really nice and i'd love to say oh yeah you could totally hold it up to that area are you joking me no way after this move moves like uh 30 40 ticks i'm probably going to go ahead and pull that trigger that is a very nice play it's even more than that because this is uh was it algobar threes yeah very very big play off of that last one there and thanks to uh john for passing that one into our room all right, next on our list, um, we talked about uh, getting your account to 8K. So somebody had posted this into our room. This is a screenshot from one of our videos. There is that $500 paper, which we have, of course, on my desk over here. And you guys should have yours as well. If you haven't printed one of those out, you can get one of those in the tips and tricks section. Um, and somebody can point that out too if you want to print yours if you haven't. Or if you want to create your own. We've got some people creating their own custom ones. They look awesome, by the way. So keep making those. They look freaking amazing. So growing from 2,500 to 8K, why is this important? I want to hit this again because I had another talk with somebody just recently and they're like, okay, so Vinny, I need to practice with a $2,500 account, right? Because you, you say I need to start with 2,500. So I really need to start trading with just, with just $2,500. So, you know, you said that that's five contracts, right? So that's my max is going to be five contracts. And so I should be doing, you know, I remember from your last video, uh, I'm doing uh, ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives, you know, and this is my toe in the water. There's my quarter position, half position, full, full plus. This is how I do it, right? In practicing like this. No, 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 no. I do not want to practice trading a little tiny account. Okay, folks, we are not going, we're not here to toy around with Cheerios. We are adults, we are grownups, we are trying to do this as a business. You are not going to practice being a two-year-old, okay? Don't play this game of like, oh, I'm only gonna play with these two, no. Trade the, you need to practice for what you're going to do, where you're going to be. This $2,500 start, people ask me this question, Vinny, what is the minimum, right? You guys, everybody, you know, you're guilty of it too, all right? Everybody wants to know. What's the minimum? What do I have to have to start? Okay, that when I say that 2,500, that is the minimum to get started with a system, in my personal opinion. Okay, now again, can you have less than that? Yes, of course, you can, you know, if you ask the minimum to your broker, the broker will tell you, you can just get started with, you know, 100 bucks in your account or $400 in your account, I believe is the minimum for most of the brokers that we're using. But I'm talking about what is the minimum with our system trading, what do I suggest with the one, two, three, four, and five that I went over in the last video, I'm not gonna go over that again, but 
how to grow to that 8K, okay? You need to get there quickly. And step one is to get yourself to uh, to 5K, right? Step one is getting to 5K, okay? So we're starting with those five contracts, getting to this level. But what we're trying to practice, if you're trying to talk about what you want to practice, is practice with an 8K account, okay? What is that going to let you do? It's going to go up to 16 contracts on, um, on the E-minis and you know, uh, eight contracts on gold and crude. Although again, I don't recommend those and I actually recommend doubling that. So, you know, you guys have gone to the other videos on that. So I'm not going to belabor that. But to answer that question again, do not practice $2,500 accounts, folks. You need to push through. It's like just like speed through the $2,500 thing. It's just a little quick challenge to get yourself to 8K. And if you really just want to get, get serious, again, I always tell you guys, like load up your account with that 8K and of course, watch our video on how to manage your capital account, which is your working capital, one account, and then have your sub account. That is in a video. If you guys don't know which video that is, again, somebody can point that out to you in the room. Or if you're just going through our training program, you will reach that in the proper time. But remember, we're paying ourselves from the sub account and we are filling that sub account with the profits that we are putting in nightly from our working capital account. And again, you need to know those things. If you don't know what I'm talking about there, put the put the you know, question down in the comments and we will direct you to the video. But I recommend you guys come into our Discord chat where we can point you to that more easily. But that should answer the question around, hey, should I practice a $2,500 account? What's the answer? No. Very good. You do not need to practice with that. Practice the size you're going to be trading at, period, and then grow past it and get to that 8K as fast as possible. All right, getting there, getting experience fast. So... Somebody had talked about um, talked about this. Let me refresh this page. That way it will it'll blink at me. There it is. Um, Tiki Man had said, um, "You watch and rewatch until you remember this video by heart and know at what time Vinny will say Alexa, what time is it? All that kind of stuff." This is what he was saying with Tiki Man. He said, "Please, have a picture. you must practice on your toilet when you wake up." <laughs> thought this is funny Saturday Sunday Monday not just watch you know many videos and say okay I'm ready okay no this is comprehension reading comprehension listening comprehension and then practice 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 you have to then practice the video game I'm going to teach you how to do the video game but it's like teaching somebody to swim okay I can tell you exactly how to do it but you got to get in the water and then swim and do it okay we're gonna, yeah, we'll get you to tread water, okay? But you, we want to get you to be a great swimmer, and that's our goal. Um, but as far as getting there quick, market replay. I'm gonna reiterate this. So if you guys have not gone through and learned how to do market replay, and I keep using that term, I need to call it what Ninja Trader is now calling it. It used to be called market replay. So this is some um, um, nomenclature update. All right. So terms. This is market replay. Is also now known as playback connection okay these are synonymous so if anybody's asking around mark replay i don't understand what that is now with ninja trader 8 they are now calling it the um the playback connection okay this is nt8 this is nt7 okay so the whoops it looks like a z didn't it I have a terrible jar tonight. There it is. NT7 for market replay and 8 for playback connection. Same thing. But this is going to allow you to play up to, you know, 500x. Now, do I recommend trading, you know, at 500x speed? Uh, no. But can you trade at 100x speed? Yes. Okay. I am looking for you at some point to be able to practice quickly, reacting quickly. Can people keep saying like, well, I mean, I'm always behind on stuff. I'm I'm really in the market and I get into my entry, but you know, I'm behind it again. I'm behind it. I'm behind it. I'm behind it. Why are you behind it? Just like a baseball player, you're going to be behind it on the ball if you're not going to the going to the batting cages and taking some 95 mile an hour fastballs and getting your wrists around and popping it, okay? I'm not going to talk about baseball specifically. Let's get into how do we do it in the trading. So practice it at a faster speed. You understand that when you practice things at a faster speed, that when it comes in slow, that it's like, everything's very, very slow, right? Feels like uh, watching the, the Marvel movies where, you know, the Flash or Superman is like, you know, doing that thing where they're whipping around really fast, but they can like still see everything because they're, you know, in a different dimension. Okay, but this means that everything kind of slows down in real time for the person who's moving at high speed. So. That's my spiel on this in the market replay. And also how to get to the 10,000 hour rule fast. So if you don't know about the 10,000 hour rule, 
Um, this is, you know, something you can Google, but what does the 10,000 hour rule say? Um, and if you don't know about this, it's okay. Quick Google on this 10,000 hour rule. What is that? This says that, uh, people have said a long time that it is, is a person who can do something very, very well. Are they born with it or like nature versus nurture? Is it just born that way out of nature or were they nurtured into being able to do that thing? Whether it's playing a guitar or being good at a sport, etc. cetera. It's uh, what they found is that it absolutely has to do with application of execution. And the 10,000 hour rule, uh, wow, well, I say just 10,000 rule. I'm supposed to say 10,000 hour rule. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> 10,000 hour rule. Pardon my on the fly stuff there. 10,000 hour rule means that it takes you 10,000 hours to master anything. And they came up with that number to go, eh, where's the baseline of mastery? Okay. 10,000 hours is what they found that a piano player or a guitarist or whatever that they have they are a master at their craft they have spent 10,000 hours doing it now a lot of people will tell you these memes are all over Twitter and everywhere else under the sun that gets you know all the places to get bad advice from they'll say oh you just got to trade for 10,000 hours and then you'll be good really really that's what you want to do I mean you can you can go do that. You can go and try that. And by the way, you still probably won't be able to be Algobox person again. Like trading is risky, folks. All those risk disclosures can't guarantee anything. But I'm just saying, put your trader up against our trader any day of the week. We are going to compact that. How do we do that? Using Algobox. So to get to 10,000 hours, this equates to approximately four years. Okay. At eight hours a day. Okay. Some it's debatable 3.5 to four years. Okay. But it's really should be about four years, which is anybody surprised that high school, four years, college, four years, get your um, doctorate, right? Uh, become a doctor, four years residency, all those things that are happening four years. Yeah, you know what? That's a real thing. Okay. It happens to be around the 10,000 hour rule. Um, and I wish I would have wrote 10,000 hour because it's really annoying. Um, so how do we apply that? Well, with Algobox, we're doing market replay at high speed. Okay. So how do I acquire that faster? Well, first of all, high speed. And they've also proven that if you are practicing something better than somebody else, like with Algobox, that is you're um, defining your, um, you're not having to take as much time with all your failures, right? That you're focusing in on something that you already know is successful, already has edge, right? This is where, where we have inherent edge with our system. And you're practicing edge, okay? So, how long does it take then? So to get it fast, what we're going to be looking at is we have estimated that Algobox gives you approximately 3.5 years of time and at a very high level. So imagine being a, an amazing trader for 3.5 years, being right behind an amazing trader for three and a half years. And then all you have to do then to get to four years is 0.5, right? So what is that? Six months. Okay, so when everybody asks, like, you know, about how long does this take? Okay, yeah, just put it on your mind. Take you about six months, in my opinion, to become a master at Algo Box. Okay, and Algo Box is just a trading tool, and we turn trading into a video game. That's our approach to the markets. Okay, there's that six months, and Market Replay, of course, can get you there even faster. And that equates to approximately 960 hours, or if we want to condense it, we will say, 1000 hours now it sounds like a lot of time but once you start getting into it you'll find that that time will fly by 80 days at eight hours that's approximately what it takes um let's go into the next part what it's so uh, that's how to get there get that experience fast dedication and time how much so that's what i wanted to hit on on this i really think you need to do it every day so some people are like oh well i'll kind of do it off and on off and on um, I'll say as a gamer, as a person um, who's played games and things, particularly with uh, like Battlefield, the Jets in BF3, okay, if anybody has ever done this and studied how to you know, fly around the Jets and become a pro Jet player, you know that if you quit for any period of time, like it's almost like you, you, know, you don't fully start over, but there is definitely, you got to kind of get back into feeling the loops and the controlling of your speed you you want to do things back to back to back and keep it going because you're trying to develop habits okay you're not going to form a habit overnight habits they, there's all kinds of studies around this that usually say they say it takes about two weeks to form a habit but some things longer and everybody's a little bit different on that i think it takes a little bit longer than that personally but 
they say at least two weeks of time. Back to back to back, and I like what Tiki Man said. Look, every day, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, don't take a day off with our stuff. At least even on a Sunday, put in an hour of study, watch a video, do something even on that Sunday day of rest, all right? Um, and this is my personal opinion, okay? So take that, um, what it is to, uh, to learn things the fastest in the most um, beneficial way. Because again, you quit and you break, take breaks, it's not going to sink in, you have to execute, all right? You're not gonna form habits. Um, and I've got some members in our room that I could give examples, I'm not gonna name names, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, but I think you guys know who you are. All right, we've had a few calls and, and chatting about this. I'm trying to help you out, which kind of takes us to our next one. Um, that was our 10,000 hour rule. We talked about no cloud reading, no cloud reading. Let's go into an example of our no cloud reading stuff. Let me pull up a chart here. Um, it's sort of like when you, when they say that um, every, if you're a hammer, everything starts to look like a nail. How oh, is it in this one? There we go, right here. Ah, sorry, uh, I thought I'd put these in order. Apparently I did not. Okay, uh, if you're a double cross player, okay? So like, there's your hammer. You're looking for your nail. Your nail is a double cross, okay? But it, here is here's somebody that took a double cross here, said that this is a double cross. If you're a double cross player, you should immediately know that is not a double cross. It doesn't even look like a double cross, okay? so. But now I, heard, I listened to this person, they were explaining themselves saying, well, you know, I thought, and they, they explained to me their whole process. And I'm like, that doesn't change anything. Nothing of what you said changes anything. That is simply not a double cross. You know, so you might be sitting there telling yourself, well, I'm explaining it because I think this and I'm reading into it. And I thought this, listen, I'll tell you exactly what you were thinking. What you were thinking was just like a retailer. You were thinking, Oh, look, big red leg down. Oh, 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 it's coming down fast. Oh, let me get in. I want to get in short. <laughs> Okay, this is exactly what retailers do. You are going to get ripped, okay? And, you know, somebody was already just looking for an excuse as they went their red leg down, and they're like, oh, well, uh, I see two crosses. I'm just going to call a double cross. I'm going to get in. Oh, you can... Okay, you got wrecked, right? And, and it's, you know, came away with a tough day for this person. Yeah, at the same time, I asked him, oh, did you get the two the double crosses right in front of it? No, uh, and I'm like, well, I can't see the screenshot. I can't see the time. Again, take good screenshots. Like, I can't even tell what time of day this is, right? So, folks, again, there's a difference between the ones that are really going to get this and the ones that are not. If you are going to be putting in the little extra into the ordinary, you'll be extraordinary. But there, otherwise, you're going to be, you're going to have a real hard time, okay? Couldn't tell what time of day this is. I think he ended up saying that, oh, it was about 9.30 at the open. Again, about? That doesn't help me out at all. I can't help you with that. But the point is, is why did you miss these, okay? I don't know. But that is a perfect double cross to the long side. That's a reversal. Why? Because it's inside of PRZ, right? So again, nice little long side that it could have played. And let's say that you did call that a double cross. Okay, you get one stop out and that's two out of three winners. Okay, because this one, was this a winner? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, that is clearly a double cross. Boom, pow. This one, double cross reversal. Boom, pow. I mean, this is amazing setups going on right here for your double cross person. If you know the double crosses, you should know the double crosses. And basically, that's what I'm gonna hit on with this. And basically, um, I call this, you know, cloud reading. Okay, what is the cloud reading? These people that look up at the clouds and they're like, hey, you see that donkey up there? Right? And I mean, sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. Be like, hey, uh, you know, look, you see in the cloud, looks like, uh, does that look like St. Saint, Saint Nick with a giant, you know, clown on his back? Like, huh? yeah, I don't know. Oh, look at that one. That looks like Britney Spears. Really? I mean, I don't, I don't really. Again, it's just a cloud. Like you're looking into it. All right, it is. It's clouds rain, you know, and they provide cover and shadows, you know, whatever. My point is this, don't read into things. Just let the tools do the work. All right, now, I think that helps a lot of people. It's not just one person. There's a lot of people who do this kind of stuff. So that's why I'm harping on it here tonight. All right, advanced setups and examples. How much time we got left here? Cause this is where I knew it was gonna have to break this up into multiple parts. We got four minutes. And I want to show you guys some really cool examples here. And then we will continue on with this tomorrow because I want to keep these a little bit shorter and uh, not bore you guys to death. Um, all right, so let's take a peek at this one. Uh, found a video on the quad witching. Okay, so this week, did we not call such perfectness? Oh my word, Wednesday and Thursday, great, great movement in the markets because 
we already knew ahead of time this was FOMC week. We know we had quad witching. We know we have options expiration tomorrow. We have all the signs and the see the stuff for great VIX levels this week, and we crushed it. Um, one of those things we'll be focusing on really tomorrow in our in our discussions is around how to be choosy, especially when you were doing the $2,500 account starting there and trying to get yourself to that 8K where you have to be way, way more choosy around your trading and that you really just want to get, you're trying to get 100% wins to get yourself to that 8K so that you can have that breathing room. Um, and to do that, you really need to trade catalyst days. We're going to focus on that um, tomorrow, okay? But this week was a lot of great catalyst days and that those are things like FOMC and market moving events. And we had all those trifectas this week and it made trading a lot easier. L huge P&Ls this week. You guys did amazing work. Um, let's look at this one. Yang said, targets build before I could even move my stops. This is a double cross, double move. She's trying to play into. Can you see how this is a great double cross? Yes. Was there anything around it? Is it out in the open? Yes. Is it powered up by a Delta? Yes. Is this going to be a great trade? Yes. Only problem, she didn't get to move her targets fast enough. This is that practice, folks. Enter in. Remember, run at, oops, it's a little bit too big, isn't it? Um, run it at 100x. Okay. So those targets should have quickly been moved down here, right? Pretty quick. So lots of ways to solve this. You know, there are mechanical ways. You could actually use a separate ATM for double cross double moves with larger um, ATMs if you want. Okay. So you might create your own ATM. It's got DCDM and it's target one is like out at 25 ticks. That's probably an option because that's probably the average target for a double cross uh, with most of our with most of our instruments right so maybe put it way out there if you have this issue because you did especially on nq okay nq is moving so fast anyhow but you see this beautiful move you're getting in a little bit late on it anyways right but then she's like yeah i clicked the button and bam already went to the target so great problem to have though <laughs> um but yes look at the look at the measure move right whoops and yeah you know nice little double cross double move you know, easy play, very, very clear out in the open. Um, now she had a plover play right here. So do we have a straight leg? Yep. Do we have the cross? Yep. Do we have the PRZ target up there? Yes, we do. Beautiful plover to the long side and it's in queue, right? Now it shook, look at that. It barely missed her by a hair on that first one. That's always a little bit frustrating. Um, make sure, of course, I'm sure she knew that if this breaks that cross that it's a stop out but remember if there is the, any critique to have there where's your stop go at the bottom of that cross okay very tight stops for those um on everything really anything that's a cross entry and then bam there it goes on the explosion boom boom pow exit on the red dot very very nice and into that prz uh, gold box up above for the plover very very nice um there's that example that john put in great setup we already walked through all of that let's go into our next one Okay, this uh, train scared today. Not sure why, because I had most of my charts continue to track five, five trades done for nothing. Thanks. Well, apparently trading scared and still making a thousand dollars is pretty good. <laughs> um, I don't know why I linked it back to this. I think I already covered that one. Okay, this one, Yengi, another one from Yengi said, uh, entered originally as a double dot plus delta, uh, but trade was not moving, reacting as much. Uh, some buyers on the tape. And which, when somebody says buyers on the tape, that's our audio box. If you guys have not listened to Flowmaster audio box, you can come check that out for free over here in our trade room on the left. There's the audio floor on the left. Just click on it and you go right in there. Buyers on the tape showed up. So I closed out for a small loss. Okay. So first one was a loser. Then I had the second swing on the trade again when sellers showed up on the audio box. So they did eventually show up. She was looking for the short side. And why would she be looking for that? Well, short's favorable. We've got red... PRZ with the red dot, there's an HMD. We got another one right here. This is a headshot, right? Nice red headshot, trying to take to the short side. She had first thing, came, stopped out, but then she got a second retry. Let's take a peek. I think she got multiple screenshots here on this one. And, oh, this must be the one that already worked out. Very nice. Is that there, there? Oh yeah, beautiful completion on that. Headshot to the short side. First one, I'm not sure where she said it stopped out. Maybe, oh, right here. Did it come up? I'm not sure where the stop out was. Yangi, you'll have to comment on that one. Um, it's in here. Maybe on this one. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure where she stopped at. Uh, she said double dot delta. 
Definitely see the big deltas. Double dot. Oh! Is the cross? Um, if that was a double dot short, I'd say hey, we might want to manage our stops because I'm not sure that that stop should go above the dot. If that's the double dot, right? So there's dot one, there's dot two. I don't I just don't see how that stopped out. <laughs> so, you know, I might have missed what you uh, what you had to do there, Yingy. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, looks like a great trade, great setup there on that one. Um, John throwing down on the DCDM. So we've got. Uh, what is this right here? Is that out in the open? No. So then we pick this as a reverse, correct? Everybody got that? Plus it's a delta. So we got the delta. We got the double cross inside the PRZ. It's green, right? Normally, you might think, okay, so how do we know? We've gone through the advanced stuff, right? You should already know this, but I'm going to review it anyhow. Okay. Double cross, double move should be like this, DCDM, right? But what's the exception rule? If you've got a PRZ nearby, what are we doing? reversing Beep. right so taking it and going to the long side especially with that yeah very nice um and then did he say one's in progress i think he's saying this one's in progress oh actually that measured out okay so it's a little short one okay on this one let me talk about this one real quick so i see what he did here he measured from here to here right and then that gave him the golden extension right there. See how those are kind of equidistant? Because he's measuring from this pivot. That's fine. But what if I told you guys, if there's a cross nearby, right, I will actually, instead of this one, measure from the previous cross, right? So I'm measuring from here to the middle of the crosses, okay? And I'm expecting a double move of that up to here. So this could have some additional leg to it. Again, when you're trying to maximize what you're doing out of these double cross, double moves, please get them correct. Please, please, for the love, watch the video. Take some freaking notes. Okay, next. All right, another awesome one from John here. What do we got? This one was a little HMD. I want to say HMD plus large timing scalp. You call this a scalp on an HMD. All right, let's look for the HMD. Oh, he's going to the short side. Okay. And against shorts favor or longs favorable. Yeah. So going against longs favorable, although this one, um, yeah, you gotta be careful on that. This one's long. Was it uh, the MACV? Hmm. Okay. So a little bit of issues on this one. So uh, we talked about this before. When these two dif are, are different, we're going off of the higher time frame, and MACV is technically red here. So you don't have to go for a scalp on this one, right? We're looking for a bigger play off of this, and probably another reason that is a power dot. So just a note on that, you can probably get more out of that trade. Um, so be careful on that. Remember, we're looking for a little bit bigger when we have shorts favorable which according to this we had shorts favorable that's the accurate one remember on the fives or the eights that's the more accurate one this one probably just doesn't have enough uh bars of data um because you're doing 500 bars here this one is going to be that's that's accurate these are things we've talked about so <laughs> these are just review i you know i feel like these are helpful to people because for some reason whatever reason if i say these in normal videos like they're like Ooh! okay but maybe if we talk about them, we go through live examples, um, these tend to stick. I hope they're really sticking for you guys, and uh, I hope you guys are getting something out of those. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it looks like you definitely got that one out. Not a problem. Um, but I'm thinking you could probably get a little bit more out of that. I would be looking to reinitiate that position, especially because you got double king crosses coming here at the same time. Um, you got green delta and green deltas. So, again, we really are looking for the flush and to get to the short side and you got a big fat prz down there i'm curious of how this play looked afterwards but i would definitely be looking for a little bit more even over here on the eights you've got space all the way down here to the um to the channel and you've got another golden box down there so again this is one where this is like you guys gotta you know thinking ahead of things these are the plays you gotta go a little bit bigger or thinking about runners etc okay um, hopefully that's helpful. If you guys have questions around that, let me know. 
And all right, we got one, two, three. We got three more. And Millionaire says DCDM. Very nice. That's looking pretty good. Do we have any crosses anywhere near it? Nope. So he's taking this pivot. He's measuring it to there. Targeting right there. I mean, ding! Perfectly, 100%. Yeah, great. Great trade with that one. Um, thanks, DG, for putting in these notes. If you guys want to go pick up his notes. I haven't checked these for accuracy. I would, I'm would. i going to pass this to the room first. You guys go and critique this. Um, you guys let me know. Um, you know, TLDR. Too long, didn't read. Um, <laughs> I haven't gotten back to it. I will get back to it. But you guys... Do me a favor, you guys review this first and let me know if he's got errors on it. And that's a good pop quiz for the crew anyhow. Um, let's take a peek at this next one here. So I hope everybody picked up that that is a double cross double move. This happens all the time. I'm gonna reiterate this again. On the double cross double moves, somebody said, but I don't understand, like he always does this and look this little nudge down. I mean, that's a stop out right there, Vinny. Oh, cry. Oh, Lord, stop that. <laughs> I don't like losing. Ah. Don't play video games then, because people are going to shoot you in the face. It happens. Uh, so, yeah, here's what he said. Uh, so, the one on the right is open, right? Yeah, but has no dot or PRZ, correct? So, it's out in the open. Yes. It would be invalid. What? No, no, it wouldn't be invalid. Okay, this is where people, again, I don't think people watch my videos or something, so I'll reiterate it right now. Hopefully you guys get it now. I hope you guys don't think this, right? You tell me if if I'm unclear in the videos. So it would be invalid. Uh, no. That validates it even more. Like, it literally couldn't be any more the opposite because it's out in the open. It definitely validates it as a DCDM. Okay. Um, and we would look for a reversal of the two Flowmaster crosses. No! Exactly! the opposite like literally is it opposite day when you wrote this right like because if opposite day were a real thing this would be it right here this is what i mean by folks like i can't i love you guys right but i can do everything in the world and tell you everything how it's supposed to be and somehow people are like Bleh. it's like self-sabotage i don't understand take some freaking notes people in the videos and try to work on comprehension comprehending what you watch okay and understanding what you actually saw, okay? Because this literally could not be any more the opposite. Sorry for beating you up there, millionaire, but hey, uh, I'm a drill sergeant around here. I want you to succeed. I'm not beating you up to just beat you up. I, I gain no joy from sitting here slamming you around on this, but I want you to succeed, right? So I got to beat this out of you. All right, same with the one on the right. This is past the green PRZ. Past the green PRZ. Okay, hold on. We got one on the left and one on the right. Well, well, still, on the one on the left, if he's talking about this one, okay, that's sitting on a reversal. That one is a reversal right there. So let's let's go through those. Um, Pass me is uh, signaling a reversal as well. No dot and going against favorable election. Again, basically, folks, this is all wrong. If you read this in the room, again, take everything anybody says in the room with a grain of salt. This is not accurate. Okay, go watch the videos and you'll see for yourself. You guys should be able to correct all this, but I'm just going to walk through what we see. So he's talking about, first of all, maybe, maybe he's talking about this one. This is out, out in the open. Well, I can't see to the left of this if that's a good double cross or not, but it looks like a freaking good one right there. Okay, nice little double cross there. Nice little play down. I don't know how long the leg was from the left. I can't see it because it's just cut off. And, you know, he's, by the way, he's too zoomed in. Another thing about this trade setup, can you tell why we're too zoomed in? What I tell you guys, if these look like a fan, you're too zoomed in. If you were zoomed in properly, I'd be able to see to the left down to this space folks do what i tell you to do and you'll succeed don't you won't guaranteed i can't guarantee you success but i can't guarantee your failure if you don't do what i tell you okay i love you guys but do it do the things people do it okay um yeah so was that powered up by a delta yeah it was even better again great play on this one 100 now this one down here this one's out in the open but look at this gigantic push down okay it's out in the open okay now, normally, yes, this should be a continuation down to the short side, except for the fact that you see how long this extension thing is. I'm not I'm not going to play that like that. Like you'll you you will learn these. OK, take a good example on this one. This is a more advanced thing. This is coming into the open line as well. Hard for me to kind of explain like what this is if you don't know what this is. But this is the open line. And you know, expecting reversal or seeing a straight push to that is not going to be easy. So this is one that, ah, uh, 
again, they're not all going to work. Nothing's 100%, but ones that you like, can you avoid this one? I, I could have probably easily avoided that. Like as this move came down, like that probably came down pretty darn hard. And it's unlikely that it's going to just, you know, keep on going immediately. But would I reverse that? No, because I would need some other signal to give me a reversal on that. Did I get a red flush there? No. Could I have played it off of this? Maybe. Okay. If you're going to try to take this as a double king and that was the next setup, even then you're probably still going to be looking for, well, a double cross, double move, but hopefully you crush this one. Okay. And then this one stops you out by a couple of ticks. Um, but this one over here is one I'm more concerned with because this one's in play. Okay. This is out here in the open. Yes. These are two, tr two tries. I have this written for you guys all the time. Okay. Two try rule. Yes. I'll take a small stop out. And then if it comes right back up in here into this middle spot, I'm going to take that to the long side. Now I saw the after picture on this because I said, look, if it's out in the open, then I'm still going to be looking to the long side. But what showed up was a pink dot after this. So scroll down. I asked them to send me an after screenshot. Okay. Sometimes the after tells you everything. And sure enough, pink dot. So would I engage this to go long on a pink dot? No, right? This now becomes a very powerful pink dot to the short side because why? We got that double cross and we are near the dot. This is a headshot double cross, right? Boom, taking that to the short side. Now, I don't know how far this went afterwards, or if it just went a few, but this is definitely target one for sure. Potentially target two. Um, is this on the twos? Tough. I'm not sure if I got 15 ticks out of that or not. Maybe. Definitely target one though. Um, okay, next one. Would this be considered a valid double cross? Number one, this is not a valid zoom in level. Can everybody tell that this is all jacked up? If you cannot tell that this is jacked up, slap yourself in the face. If you can tell that this is wrong, slap yourself on the back. Get the difference? Slap, pat on the back, okay? <laughs> slap yourself in the face if you think that this is okay. This is not okay. Don't zoom in like this. Your, your chart should not look all flattened out. I call this like looking all flattened out. If you don't know how to adjust these, go watch my videos, okay? Um, I'll give you some hint right now. Control up. Okay. Control up, up, up. Okay. You can go tap, tap, tap three times. It'll kind of move it up three times. If you want to move it down, you know, same thing to the downside. Okay. Control plus down. We'll go, you know, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in, zoom out with your keyboard. Okay. Or, you know, there are all kinds of ways to zoom in and things, but just get your zoom level appropriate and then you don't have to change it all the time. Okay. Um, but get really good with that. You should definitely know how to do that. There's all kinds of other ways, but this is the way that I do it. Okay. Um, zoom in appropriately. Now he's asking, is this a valid double cross? Uh, no, this is actually a cluster. So the first one that you're going to see and pretty easy one to avoid this whole area. Um, and you're going to be looking for a short right here, but it ends up stopping out okay, on this. Am I going to be looking for a double cross on that? No, probably not. Um, you didn't have a Delta down here along with it to power it up. This is just a cluster and you were able to see this one first and then this one. Um, another problem with this, I can't even tell what market this is. So for me, like I can't see price. I can't see time. I can't, oh, I can't see time. Um, this is at 21.13. What is that? Uh, like, what was it? 8 o'clock at night? 9 o'clock? This is 9 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, another thing. Um, don't, you shouldn't be trading this time because you really can't anyway but there's a hundred things wrong with this you need to learn the system and i know you're new um and you are not actually a member so that's okay but no the answer is the valid double cross no no uh next yeah and i'm missing something i watched with double watched the video for the double cross a couple times really yeah i don't know how you watched it a couple times and wrote what you wrote earlier bro hey but look Anytime anybody asks, like, well, Vinny, if I learn, if I learn the system, you know, can I succeed? Dude, I don't know. Are you smart? <laughs> I bet. I don't mean to tell you that you're dumb, but I mean, I don't know how you can watch a video and literally get these wrong. Okay. Um, double cross reversal. Uh, no. And uh, no, actually, neither of these are right. So there's nothing around this one. This one just happens to be a loss. Okay. Um, this one, we don't know until afterwards, but that first one, I'm going to the long side. Initially, also a loss. Again, small loss right there. But two try rule. Can I, did this one give me a second try? No. So it's a one loss. Did this one on the second try? We don't know because when it came up here, it gave me a pink dot. That I'm immediately going to reverse. Okay. So the 
Reversal is a winner, right? This one, just straight loser, and it's a one-time loss. Um, one of the most informative videos. That's awesome. But I keep seeing double crosses that do this. Yes. Okay. So I wanted to address that. Yes. Get used to this, folks. It will it will do this a lot. In fact, if you want to play off of it, look. I uh, this is why I say like first thing on one of these you know, in the video, like toe in the water, quarter position, initially. Right. Away. Right. Why? Because these are such big moves, anyways. Right. From here to here. From here to here. That's a big winner off of a quarter position. It's awesome. Okay. But I don't want to take a bunch of risk off that first one. It's probably gonna you know stop out by a few ticks. But then on the secondary move, when it comes back, da da da, boom. Now I'm going in bigger. I'm going to go half position, right? Half position at least. And then if I get any other sign to add to it along the way, then I'll add and try to get to my full position. Um, that's all in the videos on the DCDM advanced. So go into watch those and take notes, 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 folks. And that's it. We've reached to the end and I am about now 10 minutes over my time. And I knew that was going to happen. I've got way, way more. Wait till part two tomorrow. I'm going to try to do it faster. Try to keep it in 30 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed that happy friday tomorrow don't forget early in early out and of course to get that thousand dollars off you i will hit that last point to get that thousand dollars off on algo box all you have to do is come and do the two-week free trial if you sign up and you purchase during your two-week free trial i will take an additional one thousand dollars off and i will apply the black friday discount if you're doing it during the two-week free trial hopefully that is helpful to you which means basically you're getting algo box lifetime for 49.97 yeah anyway not doing that for too long so come hook it up thanks for hanging out folks for me pippy robbie lost spot mod spot curtis g and the rest of the gang i am sitting out that big h town hey y'all